Show. We're here with Erickson Lube and the Hammer. Gonna be facing Jason Rosario, June 26th, co-main event. How you feeling? I feel great. Had a tremendous camp. You know, we're wrapping up camp right now. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight today. Oh man, um, you had a good, a good outing last win. We thought it was gonna be the WBC mandatory in that precision. I don't know what happened with some politics, but it is what it is, another hurdle. So you could be in precision for that WBC title. Um, what do you feel about your opponent? What do you feel about Jason Rosario? Um, he's a former world champion. You know, he has, uh, he has power in both hands. You know, I don't take that away from him, but you know, I just feel like I'm the better fighter. I, I had a great camp. Um, you know, we, 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 we drew up a game plan. The game plan, we ready to, to go ahead and uh, go out there and, and perform. You know, um, I feel like anybody that gets in the ring with me is gonna have a, a, a real tough night, especially the way my camp went. I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. My mind is ready. I'm physically ready, and you know, um, I'm ready to prove that I'm the best at 154 pounds. Facts, facts. Oh, this is your fifth, your fifth training camp with prestige trainer Kevin Cunningham. How's your relationship and how's your, um, you know, chemistry going on with with your coach? We have great, great chemistry. I feel like I've been working with Kevin my whole, my whole life, pretty much. Um, you know, there's always something new to learn with Kevin. You know, he got all the tricks and the trades. You know, he's worked with many world champions, undisputed world champions, unified world champions. And, you know, he's just, you know, um, yeah, uh, he's dedicating himself the same way I'm dedicating myself. And we, we're, uh, we're, we're going all the way to the top. I feel like we're going to uh, capture all those belts sooner than later. That's what's up. That's what's up. And, of course, yeah, you want that WBC, the guy that's currently holding it right now, He's, that's the only defeat that you have in your career. And of course, you have done everything you have to do to put yourself back in position to get that, to, to get that get back. Um, but of course, you can't, look your, you can't look past your opponent. What was your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to take over boxing, not just the weight class. Um, I'm looking to take over you know, just this weight class. You know, I, got, I got a fight in front of me, which I'm fully focused on. Uh, I'm not overlooking Rosario. I, you know, I'm, I want the best Rosario to go in there on June 26th. I want the, the one that beat J-Rock or even better, you know. So um, I'm, I'm looking to take over, and it's starting with Rosario. I got to take care of Rosario, and then, you know, from there, we're going to, you know, we, we, we'll, we'll go back to the drawing boys and talk about what's next. Basically, you ain't looking past him. You're looking through him. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. That's going to be um, so, uh, boxing is bo boxing is it got great momentum right now. We never seen like four or five events in one night. Um, what do you feel about the status of boxing? How it is right now? I love it. I love it. You know, um, everyone, everyone's getting real fights. You know, competitive fights. You're not getting mismatches. Too many, too many mismatches anymore. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like they just separating the real and the fake. You yeah. know, um, you know, guys like myself. I got I got to fight like I got to fight with a former world champion. I'm not even looking for any tune up. So. This is what I, I've been looking for. You know, I've been looking forward to is fights like this and the fights where it's, it's so anticipated and the fans want to see it. You know, the main event with Javante Davis and Mario Barrios, he's moving up two weight classes to go ahead and fight one of the champions. You know, that's pretty big. Errol Spence versus Pacquiao. Those are all big fights, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. So the boxing's in good hands right now. And what's interesting about the 154 pound division, your division, is that, like, we don't know who really gonna win. The fans is like, there's been upsets. There's been people that we thought it was going to win. This is like the, the the division that we don't know what may happen. It's hot. It's a it's, hot division. I love it, man. I love it. It's you hot. And, and, and more I'm people. here to stay, though. I'm here to stay. I'm here, you know, at the end of the day, I think I'm going to be the last man standing. Okay. That's facts, facts, facts. You got more people moving up. Danny Silver Garcia going to be moving up. I, um, he's, he's staying I'm looking forward people. to it. I'm looking forward to all, all those guys moving up. You know, it's a big fights to make. Um, you know, those are great champions as well. They're coming down from, um, coming up from 47. You know, I, I like those fights as well. That's what's, that's what's up, that's what's up. And how do you feel about more networks, more apps into boxing? Does that give more opportunities for boxers? Now it's just not HBO and Showtime. Now you got The Zone, you got Trilla, you got PBC, Fox. Well, I'm a big fan of the HBO and the Showtime type of thing, but mm -hmm. you know, to each his own, they, they're coming out with you know, different websites and different apps that's going to, you know, draw more fans into boxing. So that's even cool, too. What's one attribute that have got, I'm, I know probably by now, you're still young, you're getting better all around, but what is one attribute about you, about your skills that has gotten real, like, it, it enhanced, you've gotten real better? My mind, my mind, my mind is always sharp. Um, I feel like I'm, um, 
I'm a better southpaw now. You know, I could box, I could, I could bang, I could do everything pretty much. Um, I got good hand speed. I got um, good reflexes, good power. So you know, June 26, you'll be able to tell me. What's what the what's, what's the message for for Jason Rosario? What's the message for the fans to look for forward to June 26? Jason Rosario better be ready to fight. He better be ready to fight. He better come on his A game because you know this this is a big fight. And you know, like I said before, I don't, I don't think he could beat me. He better eat some platano. Yeah, gonna take it for well, you better not come overweight. <laughs> you know the platanos, but you know uh, for the fans, it's Hammer Time on Showtime once again, live on pay per view in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, it's, it's a big event. State Farm Arena. You got Javante Davis in the main event versus Mario Barrios, and then me in the co-main event. It's Hammer Time on Showtime.